can I offer you some spirits before I channel your spirits? Oh my God. <laughs> you. <laughs> if it's okay with you, we have a room all set up, okay. all ready, waiting for you. Okay. Um, everyone's been working really, really hard all morning in trying to pull this off. So if you'd yes. like, and you would like to have this once in a lifetime opportunity, I'd be more than happy, and it would be an honor and a privilege to be able to share my gift with you today. Do you know how many times I would wish I would go in a store and like run into you some kind of way? <laughs> you, know, you never know when I'm gonna pop exactly. up. Exactly. I don't feel like we've ever screwed up a surprise. But then I say to myself, how could you screw up something if you don't even know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, look, we pulled it off. But I am so excited to show you what Valentina and Reina are up to today. I I'm going to start uh, first start with the, um, I'm going to say young male, because young for me is anyone that left the physical world before we feel their time. So where does the dad come in that is departed? My father. Your dad is departed, so this would be your husband. She literally didn't know anything. As soon as yeah. she started, like I was immediately like, yeah, this is legit. Prior to my husband passing, I didn't, I always questioned things like that. I always questioned people with gifts like that and is it really genuine? Is it really serious? What are they really after? I've seen a, where some people say, well, I didn't know so-and-so was gonna come through. I, I knew my one and only person was gonna come through. And was he young? He was 20. Uh, what? 20. 20. So this is now the follow-up that you did with Raina, Valentina, Valentina and Raina. OK. All right. I mean, I can't even say thank you enough. No. I thought I was meeting my daughter for a Mother's Day lunch. And Teresa Caputo comes walking out with my drinks, and I totally <laughs> flipped out. I probably looked crazy, but it was a natural thing to let her just do her thing. So what do you think? First of all, when I first saw them, they looked lighter. Like, to me, I just looked at them and you could just see there's this joy. I, I, I can't explain it, but I could, you could see it. Like, I never met my dad. So when Teresa first started the reading, um, I felt, I guess, a sense of comfort. I, I felt him. He said, Teresa, I want my family to know that having children was a true gift from God. Mm -hmm. He said, because there was something deep in my soul that knew that I wasn't going to live a long life here in the physical world. <laughs> Two weeks before he passed, he said, Raina, I just had this crazy dream, and it felt so real. And exactly, exactly the way that he dreamt it is how it happened two weeks later. Exactly how he told me the dream went when I got the police report like a month later after the funeral is exactly how they told me he passed away. I mean, it's just like I feel stupid sometimes after all this time. Like, why am I still feeling like like, it, I just, I was robbed. I was robbed of a good life with him. And I cry for him at least once a day, every day. What God in his right mind would leave me with two babies at 19 without him? And I hated him. After two decades of being gone, <laughs> he says, I need you not to be angry with God. <laughs> He says, because as much as my family is important to me, so is my faith. He says, and I need you to know that there truly is a God. And that my soul oh my God. is at peace and dwells in heaven. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. When Teresa mentioned there is a God, when she said that, I can hear him because we, me, him and I had had several conversations about whether there was a God or not. But it was hard. It was hard to believe that there was after that, for sure. He says, if I wasn't able to leave you with a part of me, then he goes, I could understand you feeling robbed. He says, but I left you the most beautiful gift. Definitely, I always, you know, in my talking to him or just, you know, saying things out loud. And 
It's like he left me the most beautiful things in the world. My husband, he always felt like he was going to pass away early. And so one of the specific things that really meant a lot to me that Teresa did mention is that the reason why he was so enamored with our children was because he didn't think that he would be alive to have them. He was one of those people that never really showed his emotions, but when he looked at his children, he was just like beaming, you know? So it made a lot of sense to me. How do you connect with the number three? Is it the month of March? My daughter, she was born in March. Okay. Validating that your dad held her soul before oh, coming man. here into the physical world. And to tell you what a beautiful young woman you have grown up to be and how proud he is of you. <laughs> And I could never be disappointed in you. Do you oh. understand that? <laughs> when she said that, he said that he was proud of me. That's been, you know, a thought on my mind over, you know, as I've grown up, um, you know, with the choices that I've made, I've always wondered, like, hmm, like, I wonder what he would think. I felt a son. So did you name your son after your dad? <laughs> I named him. Josiah, I wanted to incorporate his name. So know that your dad knows and wants to thank you. <laughs> oh my God. It's time to let go of the anger so you can start to heal. After the reading, relief, relief, where I can think about him without wanting to just break down completely. and. It was a good thing. It was, it was, I needed to hear him say, it's okay, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, so. I'll let go. Yeah, let go. Yep. I, I think it's heart-wrenching and, you know, heartbreaking, you know, when someone says, you know, I, I wonder if my dad was proud of me. You know, to have a dad that tells you every day that he's proud of you, and then that gets me and for him to validate that he does know and he has been with her. It doesn't take away any of the pain and the sorrow, but a little bit more peace. And you can see that they found that, so. And that's the point, right? That's the whole reason why I do what I do.